Well, good evening. We're on again with Let's Talk with Sports J. We're excited, man, because tonight we're going to bring you content conducive to what's going on in the NBA. We're really excited because we have some amazing things that we want to talk about tonight. Before I talk about that, matter of fact, yeah, before I talk about that, I want to show a video because someone lied to us. And I think wherever there's a lie, there needs to be the truth. That's just me. Wherever there's a lie, there needs to be the truth. And tonight we want to expose the truth that LeVar Ball and Tina Ball did not lie. What they told us about their three sons is the truth. And it's about time that old media comes out and tells the truth about what they did to this family. But just in case they don't, I'm going to take the platform and honor them tonight. I'm going to honor LeVar and Tina because they've given us something that's amazing. They've given us amazing, amazing. They've given us amazing entertainment value. Not just that, LeVar Ball has always been a conduit in the community that bridged the gap between father and son. He took young boys into his home with his sons, and they grew together. He fed, he gave jobs, and he's still doing the same thing. No one talks about that. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking for numbers to grow. But if you do want to subscribe, make sure to subscribe to our subscribe to our channel, like and comment. But what I'm what I'm saying is this: give honor where honor is due. We watched two days, two games with two brothers who dominated the floor through that Chino Hills run. I'm gonna say run and shoot like football. Run and shoot and dominate because um, Giannis said during his interview last night, the pace was so fast, we couldn't get back and recover. That tells you that LaVar told the truth. If you give my sons the ball and allow them to run, they will make everyone around them better. And guess what? He told the truth. Sit back and you tell me what you think, because that man and his wife are incredible. Listen to this. Several years ago, before LaMelo Ball even got to this level, I have a blog that I write also, but I don't want to um, bring the blog website up or anything like that right now. But on the blog, I wrote, um, I, I did a blog on LeVar Ball and just saying how great of a father he was. And, the, and where I got the information from was because during Father's Day, the NBA allows the sons to write um, uh, uh, mementos about the parents or the fathers. And Alonzo wrote an incredible piece about his dad. That's when I knew something was different and I began to do my own investigation and I found out that he's true to character, purpose, and his family. And for me, that's enough. Guess what? I just don't understand, but I do understand politics matter in today's world. Politics matters. But one thing that matters more than anything is the truth. My mother used to say, if you steal from me, You'll lie. If you lie to me, you'll steal from me. So uh, old media, if you lie, you'll steal <laughs> corporate dollars. So listen to this. This man is the truth. That is the goat. He's the goat because he's the truth. What he produced, not only in his son, but other young men make a world of difference. And it takes a family, a village to raise young men. And he did that. If you look at the old videos, not just his sons, but he raised young men. So watch this video with me, and, and I'm going to honor him tonight, and I, I'm going to ask that you do the same thing through your likes and your comments. All right. Yeah, definitely Very playing important. all these games. I'm in my whole life playing games since three. AAU, you play a bunch of games. So at the end of the day, it's our job. Middleton, two-time All-Star. Again, LaMelo ahead of the pack. This time leaves it for Hayward. Devontae Graham back into the game. Hornets are going to play small. Milwaukee has five reserves in the. Oh my goodness! Miles Bridges! Looked at the rim. Watch his eyes. Look at his eyes right here. All right, I got the ball. Where's the rim? Oh my! <laughs> yeah. Five. LaMelo. Got it! String music! A triple! 31. Hornets have the Bucks right where they want him. Look at this. When the Bucks trail after the first quarter, they're winless on the wow. year, and the beat continues. 
13 minutes into the game to be down by double figures and ahead by double figures is amazing. Oh yeah! Miles Bridges! What a dime by LaMelo! Cody! Oh, oh wonderful! 6'3", 205. Tough. And LaMelo looking for someone to pass to says I might as well score myself. LaMelo, as always, wants to run, try to split a triple team. Gets his own miss. And look at that. Look at the stick to it of this. <laughs> Quarter. LaMelo. Nice. Matches for the 19-year-old. Ball, Washington, Monk, Bridges, and Martin playing together. Malik, oh, super athletic. Yeah. Forbes missed everything. Wow. And taken away. Martin's got it. Somehow finds Miles. LaMelo. Hey, score it. Hornets lead by one. Dodged a bullet a moment ago. LaMelo gets inside with the left hand. Wow. Take that, Brooke Lopez. The extension. Bad pass. Hayward's got it. Numbers for the Hornets. LaMelo. Score it another five. Oh, bet it away! LaMelo, another steal! Dagger shot! Yes! Devontae! Here is Ball, who Malika Andrews informed us just moments ago is playing without restriction tonight, despite that ankle injury on Wednesday, and Ball buries the three. Ball in with Ingram, Hart. You, you got to go there. back in. Yep. And Ball buries the three. Turnovers, first and foremost, if there was just one thing we need to do better right now, it's that because of the way it's been affecting both ends of the floor. You're right, but right on it, Ryan. Giannis just threw that too hard to DiVincenzo. Ball dashing ahead, bodying in, and finishing. This is the largest first half deficit Milwaukee has faced in the last three seasons. As Ball adds to it. Vincenzo can't hit from three to begin the second half for Milwaukee. Here's Zion kicking. Ball hitting from downtown. The Pelicans pick up right where they left off. Zion lost it. Adams dives for it. Shot clock fading. Ball left alone. Shooting practice. You bet. He was hit right after that twice. Yeah, and the foul was actually called on Steven Adams. On the offensive end there. Oh, what a down court feed. Ingram kicks. Lonzo Ball connects again from downtown. Now, once again, now uh, a dribbler sets up this play. Nice play by Ingram. Rotate to the open area. He's available on a night in, night out basis. Lonzo Ball hits another. Now, that was a big shot by Giannis because he's only shooting 29%, and he, he'll take four threes, but he needed that basket to get going also. So five to go in the fourth, three to shoot on the inbound, Adams can't finish, and here comes Giannis and Milwaukee. Oh, Dedekubo threw it away there. The Pelicans have four guys scoring 20 points right now. You have Ball with 24, Ingram with 21, Williamson at 21, and Blitzel at 25. But you know, it is a tough cover. It'll sit too strong that oh, time. Go, go. You gotta go strong. Ingram all the way nice. in for the lay. Giannis gonna get a brief breather here for Mike Budenholzer. Ball, corner three is good. Alonzo. That's right. That's right. This couple right here are the best. Let me share this with you before we close. If Damian Lillard of the Portland Trail Blazers said that Lonzo Ball has skill, why would I listen to someone who hasn't played the game? For example, on the screen. <laughs> if Kevin Durant says that LaMelo Ball is the future of the NBA, why am I going to listen to someone else? Ladies and gentlemen, new media here on YouTube 
They have the truth raw and uncut. And they are bringing the facts just like it is the ball facts. So what we need to make sure is that we find the right conduit or circuit of information that's producing the truth because the truth matters.